The first port of call was at the public toilet in Jamestown owned by a woman named Sophia. This toilet was closed down last week when the team uncovered pipe holes channeled from the toilet into the sea. Today, the public toilet was in operation. You can see clearly that they have broken the, the power locks that we use to lock down the toilet for discharging human excreta into the uh, seesaw, which is uh, contrary to AMA bylaws. When we moved to check the outlet, it appeared they had sealed the toilet from flowing into the sea. They have now disconnected the effluence from the pipe. Now we are seeing that the water that is dripping is bath water. So that is the only improvement. Madam Kuchi still served them with sermons to appear in court. Je nafama o anti say court say ombra Friday. E wa la badi court. Omo be you omo into your bar. Ono ba ba be kan nimpa. Ya ya dey ya lock here. So na e ha na ya ne dey. E ni e lock here. Into ya ba na si e bia e nim nimpa obi e ye. Into ono na nim nimpa obi e o ba na wa be kan. Into no for someone scratch and no for my ombra. One by one we tiptoed on the beach. Literally dodging human excreta littered all over the beach. The team observed fishmongers had thrown curtains from the hill, pigs were being reared on the shore, and the public toilet up the hill had also disposed of its toilet papers on the beach. The team was on a mission to get all offenders. We are not supposed to pollute the sea with whatever commercial activities that we carry around the sea. So we were going to take them on, we'll give them a letter, give them a period to relocate them from here and we'll follow up to ensure that they, they move them out from here. We first visited the public toilet that also served as a storeroom filled with clothes and cooking utensils. The owner and Madame Kuchi entered the facility and noticed the place was unfit for purpose as it was insanitary. It is. So looking at it, hygienically it is not neat. So that is why we've asked them. So they have to get some disinfectants and then clean this place to be very neat. They have to re-roof the place and then clean and paint the walls. So because, let me say, it is going to involve money, the one we have given to them will not be enough. So we'll talk to the man and then we'll extend the number of weeks we've given to them so that we'll come back for a re-inspection. So before we come, they will have to finish with all what we have asked them to do. Then she demanded to see the septic tank. Soon, Madame Kuchi found sewage sludge channeled from the tank into the sea, but the owner denied. We have a bathroom here. How sure are you that it's wastewater? We have a bathroom. Yes, I'll bet you have a chain baby at the end. We've got a bathroom here to the sea. We have a bathroom from the sea. We have a bathroom from the sea. But she then demanded the tank to be opened for inspection, and as predicted, the team found a huge pipe. Connected is straight under the septic tank. So right from the septic tank that it is going is straight into the sea. Look at the pipe. And there's a way they have done it. You not even see the outfall of it. He was given a three-week ultimatum to renovate the structure. But before they come, we want you to we will give you a notice. We want you to seal the pipe that you have connected through into the sea. You seal it, and then we'll give you three weeks mm -hmm. to paint the toilet facility okay. and clean the whole place. Uh, yeah. You can see the roofing. The roofings are not one of the best. They are broken. Uh, okay. And then in there, we want you to change it to WC. A few meters away from the public toilets, we could hear the voices of worshippers. The sound was blasted from the redeemed church. And then just opposite the church was a school. Madam Kuchi called out the pastor from the church. He was angry a few seconds into Madam Kuchi's questioning. You are still in the process. Who yes. registered? Who named at time? I mean, so catch him. I'm still in there. I'm still in there. Me, yeah, sorry, who is the police? So catch him. I'm still in there. Who named? 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 Who
na meka no en na me de wo pass say me bi so say wa register na wo so register na me say me wo process me in the process na na tu na na tu me 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 fe ga me ya wo 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 to le ni bi fe ni no ha master master wo so wo ya pastor na sa na pastor eni obi anya pastor kasa the assistant pastor was handed a notice warning him not to operate the church as they did not have permit. Please, so are you done with the notice? Yes. 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 So we'll give it to we we'll give it to him to sell it to him. So you can see these are some of the pastors we are working with. Just ask for And so they should stop operating. They should stop operating the church here. The team decided to visit the school that was largely affected and what the team found was an eyesore. Over 150 pupils in one wooden structure. In the classroom is a staircase leading to another classroom, which is poorly ventilated. In fact, we could not even breathe. Oh no. What we say, who are to school? The classrooms are overcrowded. Lighting system is very poor. Ventilation is very poor. Who need any sort of facility? Are what the uh, basic sanitary uh, needs uh, facilities are what they run in school? No. Who catch us? Who see a uh, 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 NGO now running? But even say uh, NGO cry, you must do it rightly. In Kolai, send your uh, room hanging out here. Say back when you any uh, skin infection na. E bet ni asa obi a e wo dem ha because obi at na asa obi hu ka obi. O ti ase e. Nti no se me ya ma okrata na ye be ya ma okrata se bra officer u ba for document bi a wo fi se o wo efasa school we ho no. Fa bra ye ho o tena. So wo documents a ye be hwe se ne e e ti ese wonni so a ye be hwe how it will go because wa am ba in kwala no apomudi e hu hia ye. Nti ye sra wo. Ye sra wo. They were also asked to come with appropriate documents to the AMA office. But we were taken to the fishmongers who had dammed their refuse into the sea. The team uncovered more and serious offenses. Mom, if you want me, I'm a bully, I'm a mom. You are a kid, you're a mother. She's a mother, you're 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 washing fresh tuna in what appears to be a thick brown solution even worse the same place these fishmongers smoke their fish is the same place they defecate we find human excreta few meters away from the fish ovens and a pile of it also on the rocks hanging on each other forming another rock this is where they uh, dry the fish and this is where they defecate Meanwhile, they will mang this fish and then bring it to the market. Some people buy the fish, they don't even wash, and they start eating. So you see the things we've been eating in the market. They defecate here. Look at look at the excreta right away, just by the 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 the, the, the what's it, the tank they use to dry the fish. So the man knew what they do. When I called him to come here, he panicked. He did not want to come. Oh. Madam Kuchi instructed fishmongers to improve the insanitary conditions and also visit the AMA office for their health cards. The team is on next week. Yeah, well, hi. That was uh, rather alarming. We have in the studio with us the Director of Public Health at AMA, Florence Cucci. Uh, Florence, my goodness. <laughs> the, things, the things you are forced to look at. <laughs> so in this particular area that you, you, you were, what would you say are the biggest violations that you were encountering, the most common? The most common is attitudinal change. People at that area, they are very difficult to change to, their, to do the right thing. What they know is what they want to do. If you want to change them to do the right thing, it becomes a very serious issue. And if you don't take care, they will beat you, you have to run away. Wow. Yes, from the fault. Has yes. that happened to you before? Yes, please. It has happened before. Not to me alone. Other officers at some other municipal assemblies, it has been happening. Wow. There are times we are beating in the fault, and you have to run away. As a public officer, you don't have to retaliate. You have to go mm -hmm. and then come back with your paper for mm -hmm. the paper to talk for you. 
Yes. So I noticed that there were lots of issues around um, open defecation, I mean, apart from the noise and nuisance issues, which I'm so glad to see you tackling. Yeah. There were, you know, issues of uh, defecation and so forth. Let's let's focus on that for a bit. Uh, in that particular area, what's the problem? Um, what, what's the reason why we're seeing such horrible violations of our, our health and You know, rules? excuse my language, our brothers and sisters around the beaches, not only in Accra, from all the, our brothers and sisters along the coast, they are used to doing open defecation by the coastside. Reason being that they receive fresh air. Mm -hmm. So when you even want to provide them with toilet facilities, they still don't want to go to use the toilet facility. There are public toilets along the coast. Even last month, the Minister for Zongo Development and Interland was there. They have constructed about 150 household toilet facilities for people living around Jamestown alone. Still, people are refusing to use the toilet facilities in their homes. And they want to practice still open defecation. And most of these, our public toilets, even along the coast, they are practicing open defecation in disguise. Reason being that they channeled their, their pipe direct from the septic tank into the sea. So, wow. Yes. So in the night, when everybody is sleeping, they will open it. That is so what they do. That's just sort of mass producing the open defecation. That is it. Ah. That is it. Now, these, these are all violations of our, our, yes. our laws. Yes. So, so uh, you found some yes. in, your, in your rounds. What's yes. going to happen to these people? Yes, so as you can see on the clip, yesterday we served somebody with a summons. We, des we served the summons because when we got there, they have tunneled their uh, black soil into the sea. So we locked down the facility and said they should remove the pipe, block it, and then come and call us. We being the officers, we will come and check and see that what we've asked you to do, you've done it rightly. We will just open it for you, peacefully for you to continue. Only for us to come back to see that they have used their own powers to open it. Wow. Yes. Even if they, they have opened it, either they block the tube or they've not blocked it. They have gone another far to violate by using their own powers to do something they are not supposed to be done. Yeah. Yeah. So as someone was given to them, on Friday we will meet at La Court. Mm. And that is where we will go and conclude that. Now I know that last week you also found a beach resort yeah. that had done the same thing, you know, yeah. channeled their um, you know, uh, excrement into the, the, the sea. Yeah. What's happened to them? Yeah, those, it was a pending case. We earlier on gone there to see that and then we asked them to construct a septic tank. They refused. So we took them to court. They refused to appear in court. So a bench warrant was issued for us for their arrest. When officers went there to make the arrest, we met the manager himself. And he said, oh, he's going inside to change. As human as we are with social faces, we waited that he should go and put on something and come. Only for him to go inside and pass through the back door and run away. Wow. Yes. So the second go in, we went to meet the manager and the owner himself. Mm. So we arrested them. We took them to railway police station. We, they detained them there. The following day, they were taken to La. So they have been instructed. They've given two weeks to construct the septic tank. Mm. So next week, we are going back there for reinspection. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's good that you're following up. Yeah. Now, earlier um, in the clip we watched, you were dealing with some noise um, pollution issues uh, with this church that was right next to a school yeah. and obviously you know uh, very loud services being conducted there now it was gratifying to see that you enforced the law and asked them to stop operating the church particularly because they didn't have a permit to do so at that location uh, but we saw how difficult the the pasta was with you tell me about your your experience with trying to regulate um, churches or trying to enforce the law with churches what tends to happen yes um enforcing the laws with churches or regulating the laws with churches you know our Ghanaian belief people will start pointing hands at you and you are an antichrist you don't want people to listen to the word of God but I know uh, gone with the days Christianity was a very solemn serene something we used not to hear the hey, because when you are talking to an elderly person, you must talk to the person with respect. You don't need to shout. You don't need to shout before the person will hear. But these days, it seems the shouting has become 
One, if you go to church and you don't shout, it means you didn't go to church. And that one is bad. Because let's say somebody has gone to work. A whole day, the person is tired. The person is in the house resting. Then you open your spinners to the loudest mini, uh, volume. You are shouting. The person cannot even sleep. The person, it, it leads to stress. Even it causes, let me say, uh, some uh, hearers problem. So all these things. So when we come, now we are regulating the churches. What we do is every church should try to find some soundproof systems in within the church premises. So that whatever noise you produce, it should remain in your church. It should not go out to disturb somebody. Because in the course of praying to God, if you are disturbing somebody, then it means your prayers will not even be, will not reach God because the person sitting there will be cursing you. Mm. Yeah. You know, we've been receiving some WhatsApp messages while we've been having this conversation. And uh, I want to share a few of them with you. Um, this one is um, from Bassett in Tamale. He says, please, madam, do not stop. Continue. Also, encourage your officers in Tamale. Uh, to start the same. We persons like you. We need persons like you Thank in you. Tamale. Please, we will support you. Thank you. Um, and uh, this one, uh, this is a very alarming response, or a very alarmed response to the rather shocking images of the people washing tuna yes. in some brown liquid, after, uh, after which we discovered uh, feces just, you know, feet away from them. This one simply says, it is serious. We are consuming feces. <laughs> <sighs> right, okay. This one says, I'm very sad. Courts do not give stiffer punishments. And uh, this one is, uh, oh, bear with me, it just says hi. This one says, good morning, Kujo. I like her charisma. She should keep it up. She has the support of all. Greetings to lawyer Joyce. Okay, all right. Greetings, lawyer Joyce. All right, I want to read one more. Uh, good morning, Kojo. We Ghanaians keep saying cleanliness is next to godliness. We're always pretending to be godly but unclean. I think offenders should be given a communal sentence as it is done overseas. Those living around mostly suffer during outbreaks. I wasn't shocked about what the man pretending to be a pastor <laughs> <laughs> uh, did. And this is Silva uh, writing from yeah. Tichiman. Yeah. So, uh, cleanliness next to godliness. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's wrap up with this story of uh, what happened in the school. That really bothered me. Yeah. Uh, tell me, what are the codes that are being violated uh, in the school? One, the code that are being violated in the school, one, the school is not registered. The school, they are below the ages of sex. The above the age of six, you must be in class one, mm -hmm. and that is being taken care of by the GS. Mm -hmm. But below six years, you are still in the daycare, KG, and all that, mm -hmm. which they are supposed to be under the social welfare. But this school have not even registered with social welfare. That is one. Mm -hmm. They don't have any sanitary facility. They don't have a toilet facility at all. At all. So what and they claim the children goes to that nasty public toilet we saw there. Oh. Which is not true because on our way coming, there were some chamber pots that were filled with excreta, human excreta, enclosed with a chalkboard, pieces of chalkboards on just in front of one pavement. Bit. Then, secondly, to operate a school, you know, children like playing, they don't even have a playing ground for the children. So, when they go for break, where will the children play? How long has this school been in operation? According to the man, the school has been in operation for the past three years now. Wow. Yes. And then you talked about the temperature inside the... The, the temperature inside there was very bad because in schools you need a very large ventilation so that children should have enough natural air blowing them. But there was this small artificial fan that was even blowing heat. Lightning system was very poor. The children could not see well to write. They were straining their eyesight. And inside, they mimic uh, a step. Like, they mimic story building, and that was another classroom oh, at the top, which was very bad. Wow. Uh, so, please, just before we go, I have to ask this question. Yeah. The operators of this school and the parents who send children to it, is there, any, uh, is there going to be any sanction, any prosecution of all the adults who supervised 
such a situation? Yes, we gave them a notice to come to the office today. So we are expecting them to come to the office today. So when they come to the office today, that is where we are going to start it from. Right. Yes. Well, I certainly hope yeah. that, uh, you know, all the laws that protect yeah. children will be brought yeah. to bear against the adults who would allow children. Because the, to be what in they such keep saying for, is for that years. area they do not have a school and they are just having a children. So I'm asking, how can somebody bring a child for you to help and then end up carrying something home? Terrible. You see, it's very bad. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Florence Cucci yeah. is the director of public health at the AMA. Thank you so much for the Thank hard you work so you're much, doing yeah. on the Thank Joy you. Clean Ghana campaign yeah. alongside uh, Joy yeah. News.